As the 35mm film format gives way to digitization, we take a look at how digital cinema has not only surpassed expectations but also nurtured cinematic ambitions world over. Nearly 120 years of existence in numerous countries and countless films, the 35mm reel is finally on the verge of retirement, making way for the swanky new digital film technology. Up until now, the 35mm film has dominated markets worldwide as the principal filming and theatre exhibition technology. However, the industry is rapidly transiting towards shooting and projecting films digitally. Digital cinema enables capturing, distributing and playing back images in a digital format. Using this format, films are distributed via hard drives or transmitted through satellites and are played back using a digital projector instead of a 35mm projector. With digital cinema technology, movies can be stored in a server which enables flexible show timings for theatres. A 35mm film costs around 55,000 rupees whereas a digital film copy costs around 9,000 rupees. When the movies were made earlier, they used to be made, they used to be released with very few prints. So small movies used to be released with 60 or 80 prints and the large movies used to be released with maybe 300 or 400 prints. Now those 80 prints or 400 prints used to be released earlier in the top cinemas of the country. And once the demand in the top cinemas in the first one, two or few weeks was satiated, then only those prints used to travel to the next level of the cinemas. With every usage, the print quality degraded. With digital cinema, whether you have the first show, whether you have the hundredth show or you have the one millionth show, the quality doesn't degrade. So with the digital wave riding in the 35mm cinema is expected to decline to only 37% screens worldwide by the end of this year, as compared to the 68% global screens in 2010. It is also projected that by 2015, over 90% of the operating cinemas across the globe would have migrated to the digital platform. The Indian film industry too is witnessing its very own digital revolution with companies like PVR, UFO movies, Scrabble Entertainment and Real Images deploying digital technology across the country. We've been dealing with Scrabble who provides the DCI compliant system. You know, if you look at the digital cinema, it provides you the, uh, it provides you the platform to be able to program your movies far superior. Let's say if you have a potential blockbuster at hand or a big budget movie at hand, you can do carpet bombing of that movie at a substantially lesser cost than what it used to be. Distributor never used to take the movie on the first day, first on uh, show sort of a thing, but now he's able to take it with the foray of digital technology. Last year, SRK star Rawan was released with 3,500 prints, 50 to 60 percent of which were digital prints. Now nearly 80 percent of Indian films are shot using digital cameras and recent releases like 1920 Evil Returns English Winglish and Oh My God have seen numerous digital releases. There are now a total of 5,600 digital film screens in India. Imagine if one physical print costs 60,000 rupees and if you were to make 3,000 prints, you need 18 crore rupees only on the print cost. No company, no producer, no distributor has that kind of budgets. But today by achieving the widespread release, thousands and thousands of crores or rupees of revenue is coming back into the system. Initially it is capital intensive, but the paybacks uh, for the, in, uh, the paybacks uh, considering this incremental capital is less than two years. Because it gives you, offers you far higher uh, programming flexibility, it offers you the flexibility to be able to run 3D movies. So finally, you know, you get a payback out of all these uh, formats. As a result, cinema advertising revenues also saw an increase with advertisers spending about 50 crore rupees on digital cinema networks in 2011, accounting for about 40% of money spent on the cinema advertising that year. And it is not just Bollywood which is waking up to this phenomenon. 2012 is also going to be a milestone year for Tamil cinema with small budget films like Pizza and Atakati churning out good box office numbers after being shot with digital cameras. And the digital process 
democratizes the whole thing. I think without digital video, I don't think I ever would have been making movies. You can't shoot 3D on film. So film has been dead in my heart for 10 years. I but it was Hollywood which, like always, set the trend for digital cinema. James Cameron's Avatar initiated the move towards a digital transformation in 2009. Before Avatar, digital cinema accounted for 15% of screens in the U.S. Analog or 35mm technology is expected to completely disappear from mainstream usage in the U.S. by 2013. This year, almost all major Hollywood releases like The Hobbit, Prometheus and Skyfall were shot and projected using the digital film technology. Digital cinema is fast becoming the most sought after technology in the world and good news is that India is one of the most active markets for this technology to flourish. So in time to come one can expect a slate of visual treats on the ever thriving silver screen of India.